Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today we're taking a look at a pretty cool, neat ROM and this one is called Google Play Edition and yes, this is the ROM from the Google Play Edition Galaxy S4 variant and this one is actually leaked and has 4.3 features which is pretty cool. And now before we actually talking about the details, which ROM this supports, how to install it specifically for T-Mobile, how to install it, you know, if you're running on 4.3, um, yes, you can actually get the 4.3 ROM version. Um, let's go and talk about the new features this one does include. And now majority of things I can't show you as a lot of it is under the hood to say. Um, but one thing is the new camera feature. So you have this new feature that it's kind of like a stair level, so you can change it and you can go back down to change it. Not a big deal, it's just a little bit different. But overall, it has the same functionality and same options overall. So nothing a big deal. Um, camera works flawlessly on all the Galaxy S4 variants. Microphone, data, Wi-Fi, everything works just great. Um, let me go get my Android guy right here. I'll show you a picture right there. So everything is, works flawlessly. Um, you're not going to get any problems with this ROM. Look, works great. Well, the second thing, which is the wallpaper. So you get this new wallpaper. Obviously, you may have seen it from the Google Play Edition ROM. And thirdly, but not last, is the boot animation. So let's go and reboot my device, and I'll show you that one as well. All right, so there we go. I turned it on. Now, I'm going to show you that. It's not a huge, big difference or anything astounding. It is different, and you still get those four colors, the Google colors, I guess you could say, right there. So just give it a few seconds. And after this boot up animation does finish, we're going to go and talk about all the details, how to install properly for your at t device, or if you're in Sprint or Verizon, etc, etc. So that was your boot animation, you got little circles right there, which I did miss while I was blabbering around. <laughs> um, but let's go and talk about how to properly install this ROM. And now, there are a couple things you have to be noted of. I'm going to try to go slow and guide you through this, but if you get confused on this video, click on the article down below, that one article link in the description, that'll give you a written step-by-step -step guide, all the details tells everything that you do need for this ROM so you don't mess it up, you don't get stuck in a boot loop or anything like that for all variants except the GT i9 500 um, which will not support that as it is running on OctaCore. Um, so if you go on about phone, mine is actually running on Android version 4.3. And now if you're running, if you're planning on flashing the Galaxy S4 variant on your Sprint or Verizon phone, you're going to be running on 4.2.2, but still get the 4.3 features. So you're still going to get the camera app, the wallpaper, and the boot animation for your Sprint and Verizon users. And you just flash it like a normal ROM. You clear the uh, factory set, clear partition, and Dalvik cache, and then you go and flash this ROM. I'll have links down below for each specific file for every ROM, Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, at t and GT i9-505. So now we got Sprint and Verizon out of the way. I told you I'd install that. Not a big deal. And now if you're a T-Mobile user or a GT i9-505, just go and flash this. Now if you be aware now, there are two variants for this. Now mine is on 4.3, but there is a 4.2.2 variant has the same features and all that. If you want to get the 4.3 version, which is fine, everything's working fine, flawlessly, um, you're going to have to root your device as it does not come rooted. Um, you have to flash uh, super user via clock remote recovery. Once again, I'll clear everything up in the article down below. If you guys are confused, I just want to let you know about this. So we're going to flash that. Um, if you don't want to go through the whole flashing rooting process again via um, clock remote recovery, um, you can just go and install the 4.2.2, which does come pre-rooted. Um, flawlessly is fine. So you can go and choose it. And if you're flat, if you're planning on installing this on your AT&T Galaxy S4, go and install this RAM 4.3 or 4.2.2 and then flash Loki Doki right after that. Don't reboot your device. Flash the RAM right after that flash Loki Doki on top of that bad boy. And then you'll be good. Once again, link down below for the article. So you can find the files and a written step-by-step -step guide as I think some of you may have been confused about what I'm saying. So link down below for all the articles, files, everything you need. Click on the article link down below and that should clear up everything. If you, have, if you do have questions, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Comment down below, com comment in the article. Uh, I'll help you out guys as this could be a little bit confusing about this video. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this ROM review and a detailed, <laughs> I guess, kind of detailed instruction on how to install this ROM, be sure to subscribe and like this video in the bottom left-hand corner as I will have more of these great videos for you Galaxy S4, Galaxy S3, Galaxy Nexus, Nexus 4, and many other devices to come in the future as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Peace.